Did you know inside every Sega Mega Drive there is a 6 voice 4 operator FM synth? All you need is two pieces of hardware. The Gen MDM and the Genogen. Simply plug in your MIDI keyboard and you can play any patch from your favourite game with 6 voice polyphony. You can use your Mega Drive like a musical instrument. Jenna Jam has been a, a bit of a collab between myself, uh, Little Scale, and Catskull Electronics. What it means is you can plug a MIDI keyboard into your Mega Drive and play it like an FN synthesizer. It's a four operator, six voice, multi timbral FM synth, so it's pretty cool. The Jenna Jam does a couple of things. You can plug any MIDI device in and play it like a synthesizer. You can load instrument files off SD card and you can edit every single FM parameter using the LCD screen. Genajam works in conjunction with Little Scale's Gen MDM, which is also available from Catskull Electronics. So you'll need both devices to make this work. So a user named Rebuga on uh, chipmusic.org made a rip of almost 32,000 patches from about 639 games uh, on the Mega Drive. You can find that zip file in the description below. You can load all of these TFI files onto your Mega Drive using Genajam and GenMVM. So here we have an SD card uh, plugged into Genajam and it has uh, 27 TFI files that I've taken from various games. I'll go through them uh, a little bit and I'll show you exactly what you can do with this device. So for starters, here is a very recognizable sound. This is from the opening theme of Echo the Dolphin. Another one from Echo the Dolphin, the Lagoon. Beefy. I'm gonna not talk through this. <laughs> I'm gonna say dumb things. Here's a patch from uh, Sonic 3. This is Hydro City Zone. Uh, passing Breeze from Outrun. Chemical part zone, this is very iconic. It wouldn't be an FM demo if I didn't play some FM bass. So not only does Gen NVM give you the ability to load TFI patches um, from games, but you can also edit these FM patches and use it like an FM synth. Um, I've used a lot of FM synths and I really wanted to make a really easy to use user interface. Gen Jam has two modes. Poly lets you play it like a polyphonic synth, so you can use all six notes at once. Mono mode lets you assign a patch per channel, so one, two, three, four, five, six can all have separate individual sounds and you can send them from your DAW, uh, one per channel. So let's go through editing. So editing Jenna Jam is easy as anything. Let's start with the Echo the Dolphin patch, which is this one. The buttons on the front, we've got left and right to scroll through patches. And this top button lets you swap between edit and preset mode. So there are 13 pages where you can access all the parameters of the FN synthesis. Um, it includes your algorithms, your levels, uh, attack decay release, uh, and there are also four potentiometers on the front, each one corresponding to an operator. But the way I wanted to build this was um, FN synthesis is very dependent on the operators doing stuff to each other. So I wanted you to be able to uh, jump into the thing and, and edit them all at once. 
Um, I'll give you a quick example of how we can edit this patch into something else. So uh, for starters, let's uh, add some release to the sound. So we're just gonna turn this down. We're also gonna up the attack to something that's soft, but not super fast. And we're gonna go back to the level screen and we're gonna turn down all the operators except for operator four, which is the first operator in the series. You can hear the envelope uh, affecting that sound. We can change that envelope, attack, decay one, sustain, decay two, and release. So let's just slow all of these down. And then let's mix in some other operators. And here we've made a brand new patch out of that existing patch. We can change the frequency. This one's super slow. Make it a little less harsh. Here's another one where I took advantage of the um, unique envelope on the EG page. So SSGEG. Um, is how the synth will re-trigger the envelopes. So here I've got the synth re-triggering on a cycle. Um, so when you play a note, you can hear it ebb and flow. And if we go to something like the attack of this um, instrument, you can hear how you can uh, change it in real time to actually get a really unique effect. And this is in full poly as well. And each one is its own voice as well. On um, operator number one, you can feed back the um, operator onto itself and get a kind of saw wave effect. And remember you can edit this in real time. So if you want to uh, change up the attack, and add some decay. Uh, sorry, release. Another cool thing that I wrote into this is um, you, it's a stereo synth, so you can um, pan the voice left and right, uh, or you can put it in a special stereo sp spread mode, which picks a random channel for each note. So if you put headphones on for this next demo, you'll be able to hear um, the instrument coming out of the left and right speaker. <laughs> So if you want to play your Mega Drive like a digital instrument, I'll put everything you need in the description below. Um, I want to thank uh, Little Scale and Catskull Electronics. Uh, without 
their help, this project would have never happened. Uh, and I'm so glad that we managed to make this into a like finished thing that you can go out and buy. So for more information about the Jenna Jam, head on over to Catskull Electronics website. You'll find information and instructions on how to use the device, everything that you'll need as well to get started. And you can be playing your Mega Drive like a synth. I want to see it on stage. I want to see you play some sick stuff. Uh, thanks for watching my video.